Hello everyone, welcome back to the Homeowner Series. It's a beautiful Friday here at the ranch. It's just over 89 degrees with a slight breeze. I've been playing FS19 here on the computer for the last few hours. Made pretty good progress here on the farm. And I just looked at the marketplace and I found a pretty good deal here on a golf cart. Looks to be a few miles down the road and I do want to check that out. I do also have a few projects planned for today. And then we'll be heading out on the lake and having some fun with our water toys. Let's get going here. Now, I first want to show you guys the Chevy K30. Last week, we actually had to go trailer back here to the ranch. It broke down on the side of the road, and I just thought it wouldn't be worth my time to fix it. So I dropped it off at the shop, and it was a pretty pricey bill, but it's all fixed, and it's running pretty well. We do have a new fuel pump, new battery, and a few new uh, lines, and the brakes did get checked as well. This thing looks pretty cool. Really want to keep this around here, uh, just kind of a vehicle just to drive uh, in a uh, looks awesome here but let's hop on the inside here i really want to go take a look at that golf cart uh, let's see if we could go get it uh, before someone else uh, picks up the deal now the golf cart seems to be a custom one with a gas engine and it seems to be lifted as well it's a pretty cool one from the pictures i've seen and they only want 200 dollars for it so let's go see if we can pick it up and i think we'll just put it right here in the back of the truck I've really been enjoying the ranch edition here to the homeowner series. It's been a ton of fun and I still have quite a lot of things planned here for the ranch and for the series. Now if you do end up enjoying today's video, please drop a like. It's much appreciated here as it helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Wow, this Chevy K30 is running really well. It was once a farm truck, which was pretty cool. It's nice that uh, the farmer kept it in really good condition. But there it is, guys, a brand new golf cart. Wow, uh, that thing looks pretty sweet here. Now, I am thinking I will probably just let the kids use this to uh, ride around the property in it. And I think this would be a pretty safe thing for them and just uh, gets them out of the house as well. But let's put the tailgate down. We do have to make the deal first. Uh, and wow, for $200, this uh, looks like a pretty good deal oh look at that there's a winch wow and that looks to be pretty cool but look at that guys has a mini lift kit on it i will have to say this is probably one of the coolest golf carts i've ever seen here and the keys are in it so let's hop here and just check it out seems like everything turns on here wow this thing is pretty cool awesome and i'll uh, just give him uh the uh, 200 dollars just slide it right under his door and it's ours awesome guys we got this uh custom golf cart now this thing looks so so cool now it does have a hitch as well uh, which is pretty sweet here but let's drive this over and i think we should be able to just muscle right up and onto the uh, bed I think what we'll do is we'll just lift the front end up and on and then we'll just kind of roll it and then lift the back. Now, if you do have any cool ideas here for the homeowner series, please let me know. I really do enjoy using your feedback here for uh, upcoming videos and to improve all of them. And there we go. Look at that, guys. Fits here in the back of the bed. We did it old fashioned style, even without uh, ramps. Not always do you need uh, all the fancy uh, creature comforts and everything. And wow, this thing looks pretty nice in the back of the truck. Now today I do have a few things planned here. I really want to build some landscaping and plant some flowers around the ranch uh, to give it some more color uh, full and just make it look a bit better. And we are building the dirt track. You guys have been requesting this for quite a long time. I can't wait uh, to be ripping it around uh, with the players and also the Mahindra UTV. And I think we'll also have to bring the three-wheeler and the dirt bike uh, from the main house over here to have a bit of fun. And maybe even the Bronco. If you guys have not already, I do recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I am posting every single day over there in some pretty cool uh, sneak peeks and updates about the channel. Now I am still working on that big, big project that I've been talking about here for a few weeks. It's almost uh, close to completion and I cannot wait to reveal it. Now one thing I really want to do, I, I want to drive this around here uh, for a few minutes. Just kind of look at the property before uh, we hop in the Kubota. We'll just roll it right off and that looks to be good. Roll it a little bit more and there it goes, drops right off. And the suspension can definitely handle that. But wow, this thing here is just so, so cool. We actually really didn't drive it, but $200 was, I think, a great uh, price. For it. So even I thought it would be more with all the custom features on it. 
Wow, look at this thing. This does seem to be uh, driving pretty well. Wow, this thing is awesome here. But let's head over here to the barn and let's hop in the Kubota. Now, we'll be doing some landscape beds along with some mulch and then we'll be putting the flowers in place. So let's hop in the Kubota. We'll be using this to rip up all of the ground and then we'll do all of the work. Now I really do like improving the property here, it just makes the property look a lot better and we definitely uh, help the resale value when that time comes. Right, so the plan here is for us to build probably a four foot, uh, four feet coming off of the building. So four foot all the way, probably from this back area, all the way around, wrap around here, right over here. So it's going to go in line just about here, and we'll put flowers, even some small bushes, and that should definitely make this look a bit better. So let's hop here in the Kubota and see if we could rip up all the ground and get going. Now I am a big fan of just doing projects around the house, kind of the do-it-yourself projects. Those are the ones that I really like the most. Awesome, so we got this end all kind of ripped up here. It is always tricky, I will have to say, uh, since it is a game with how we could do it. But uh, we got that side all ripped up, and we'll just continue over here. And that looks to be good. Let's get going here on the side walls of the landscape bed. Now I will have to say I do have a GTA 5 homeowner series here in the works. It is a bit tricky uh, trying to record that series with how I have to set it up with all the mods and everything. But I can't wait to be back there with this series very soon. Now it seems to be uh, kind of placing some of these has been a bit tricky around the ranch. And it just seems to be like a collision or so. But you guys can see this will make a big uh, difference. We'll definitely have to throw a little bit of grass seed down. But once that is complete. Uh, this will look even better. Now I still have quite a lot of videos here in the works. Lots of series coming back to the channel like the construction, the public works series, and some other ones as well. And let's see, can we do just one more here? I think that's what we'll do. So one more, and then we'll uh, do a small piece. And I actually think we could probably do this small piece here. Let's see. And that will kind of uh, go into there. So we'll just do the small one. All right, all of the mulch here is in place here. It was a little tricky, but I do want to add a few bushes around it. Not too many, uh, but I do want to add probably uh, one. Let's see. I'm not sure if we could put any here, but it looks like we can't. And actually, uh, we can. So we'll put one more right about here. I think we'll change it up here with some new uh, flowers as well. We'll probably put some on this side here, and I'm not sure if we could put it on the other side. Seems like a lot of collision problems here today, but there we go. Wow, that definitely looks quite a bit better. Let's give it a try on this side. I'm not sure uh, if we could really place any. Oh, yeah, we can. Kind of close uh, to this area, but that's okay. Let's see. Can we get a few more here in place? Let's hop out of the Kubota here and take a look. All of the flowers here are in place along with the bushes. I will have to say that definitely adds quite a bit of color and just a lot more detail here to the front of the house. Now, I'm not sure exactly what's happening here. Now, the next thing I want is to put a few flower pots just like this one here up, uh, probably right below these windows. I think that would be a pretty fun thing to do. But why don't we hop in the Kubota and let's go see if we could build the dirt track. Now for the dirt track, I am thinking we'll do a big oval, and then on the inside we'll do kind of a, kind of a windy run. So it's going to be a big oval, and then uh, you could also either do the oval or the kind of windy one, which uh, should be uh, pretty fun. Depending on what you're doing, uh, what off-road toy you're using, you can just switch between them. But we made it over here. We'll use a Kubota along with the landscape feature to complete the project. Alright, here we are. Let's get going here on it. I'm really excited to once again have a dirt track. We have not had one here in a very long time. I think since uh, probably one of our older houses uh, that we owned months and months ago here. Now this dirt track will be a pretty big one and it will be a ton of fun here for us. Now look at just how big it is. We have so much land uh, that we are able to do this, which is great. And let's see, I actually wanted to go around uh, this tree and there we go. So awesome, we got that. Up next. Next, I do want this to be a bit windy as well. So what we'll do is I uh, will actually have it come out like this. So we'll have it come out over here and let's see what we can do. We can have it wind in and then we'll wind it. Oh, oh yeah, this will look pretty cool. 
Now once we do this, we will be doing quite a bit of dirt work with the uh, levels, just making sure everything's good to go uh, for it as well. Now I will have to say, wow, this thing is going to look uh, pretty neat. Now I do want something over here as well. Actually, let's see, we could also add one right around this tree. I think this will be a pretty cool thing all the way and... We'll line it up right there. Wow, look at that. Pretty cool there. And last up, let's see. Almost thinking we could do another one like this. So lots of different areas. Just uh, pretty cool trails around is probably the best way to put it for us. And whoa, this is going to be a ton of fun. Let's switch over here to the uh, train. And let's see if we can do a little bit of this. This will be a lot of work here. Lots of time. But once we do this on all of these turns, this will be even better. I wanted to go with a unique uh, approach here to the dirt track. We always do kind of uh, uh, just kind of the same uh, configuration for the track. And I thought changing it up here with trees and different things, especially so many different areas. That way uh, you could take this course multiple times without uh, going on the same uh, part, which I think is uh, going to be a ton of fun for the kids. Now let me know down below in the comments guys, what is your favorite dirt track or uh, favorite dirt off-road toy you guys have uh, kind of seen me use or uh, just kind of use in real life. I am a big fan of dirt bikes, but the player's razors are just so sweet and so powerful. They are just awesome. But you guys can see making really good headway here. Uh, some of these uh, are going to be a lot of work, lots of grass work, and uh, we'll definitely see if we can still mow around it with a zero turn. We definitely have to do that, and I think we'll do one more here and then we'll uh, go get uh, I think we'll probably just do it with the golf cart for today yeah I think we'll do the golf cart today and then we'll catch you guys next week uh, to have some fun on the other one but there we go and last up let's see which other one do we want to do wow that seems to be good this Kubota here is a great workhorse here. We use it a ton for so many different projects at the ranch. And I was thinking, should we buy a skid steer? But I think a tractor like this is the way to go. We could put so many attachments on it, and it's just so versatile. And I definitely want to use that this winter here for some snow plowing. But let's hop here in the golf cart. Really want to do uh, maybe uh, just a drive around and just kind of see how it is. But I really do like how we have just so many different areas that you could go on. That's going to one to be so unique. And let's kind of go on the big oval first let's do the oval and then we'll do kind of the uh kind of one-off uh, courses that we made oh yeah this is going to be a ton of fun here for us already getting the hang of it as well which is pretty cool. awesome so we did that one uh, and let's do this one here now i think it will end today out on the jet ski the jet skis are a ton of fun and we'll definitely uh, just kind of enjoy the rest of the day out over there I try to incorporate so many things here into the homeowner series with everything we do. A uh, quick turn over here. It's just a ton of fun uh, to record these videos. And these are videos that I really look forward to recording each and every uh, weekend. And look at that, just making some pretty good headway here. So there we go. We went on two tracks. There's probably so many different ones we could do. Definitely uh, we'll be seeing if we could race the kids. But let's come over here to the uh, docks area. And the uh, jet ski should be over here. The key should pretty much be in it. Uh, that's pretty much how we have it here at the ranch. But let's hop in the, the jet ski. Have a bit of fun with the sea -Doo. Now leaving this area is going to be a bit tricky here for us, but uh, this has pretty good handling. Oh yeah, no problem just flying right out and having a bit of fun here. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video here back at the ranch. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for the next one, and subscribe for more.